oftentimes in a design, you wish to center one item on another item. And a great example of that is the relationship between your sink base and your window. If we take a look at the plan that we're working on, you'll see that our sink base 36 is not centered underneath of our window. If I wish to center this, what I would do is right click on the sink base 36, highlight it in the list, and then move over and left click on center. If I left click on center, my next step is to determine the item that I wish to center the sink base on. In this case, this window. So I will left click to indicate the window and then hit the enter key on my keyboard to center the sink base. Let me do that again. I actually call that little process center enter. So if I right clicked on the sink base, find it in my list, move over to center and left click. All I need to do now is left click on the window and hit enter on my keyboard and it centers automatically. Now let's take another example of centering an object. You don't always have to click and hit enter to center. You could simply use the placement points within the room. For instance, if I take a base 36 on this particular wall and I wish to center it on the wall itself, all I need to do is hold the left hand button down and you will see the snap points or placement points appear as I start to move it. Right now, if you're looking at that cabinet, the back left hand corner wants to snap at the center of the wall. One point is the snap point for the end of the cabinet. The other point is the center of the wall itself. While holding my left hand button down, if I simply move the cabinet towards the center, I'll notice that a center point appears for both the cabinet and the wall. As soon as they appear, all I have to do is let go of my mouse and the base 36 is now centered right on that wall.